Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today we're playing a teamer deck. Not a color combination you see often in standard, but I did want to try to make something fun with the new team-up legend, Borborygmos Amphibblethip. This really sweet card is a 6-5 five for 5 that draws you a card when it enters a battlefield or attack, so I'm already excited. But there's also this ability to discard land cards to deal damage to target creature, and I've got a lot of land. This is what we call the 29 land CGB special. 29. I, I'm actually blocking it. You can't see it. Just believe me then. Whatever. That looks like 29 land to you, right? Add it up. So, four copies of Otawara and two copies of Boseju allow you to play kind of more spells than it looks like you are playing. So we can always channel these. And it's great with Slogurk the Overslime, one of my favorite cards from the uh, Midnight Hunt uh, kind of times, where you put a plus one, plus one counter on this whenever you discard a land, whenever you mill a land, whenever you you know, something to a land. So it's really good synergy also with Borborygmos and Fibblethip, also with Elder Dragon War, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, things like that. Teachings of the Kirin makes an appearance in this deck, along with a good little splash of removal and some powerful top end like Kogla and Yudaro, uh, Itali, and Titan of Industry. To find something cool after you are kind of playing all your lands, you need something fun to do with them. It's a sweet little teamer deck. It's a little twist on the meta, and I think it's a solid little mid-range package. So let's dive in. Let the Borborygmos and Fibblethip nonsense begin. Opponent goes first and we don't have a play until the Fable on turn three. We do have two Borborygmoses. I just don't think we're going to last that long. Wow! Shuffler, are you okay? I'm not going lower. Refuse. You'd think we had only four and fives in our deck, but our opponent thought on a slower hand. And they're missing land drops. This is great. Able right on time. Should have just kept the first hand if I knew it was going to be this way. Lauren, my fable. Monster. Okay. Each creature, but each opponent. That's why this always screws me up. I always think it's only creatures my opponent controls, but it's not. Drop the Borb. Let's go. Draw a card. Decline. WTF, yo. What is this? Shuffler. What's going on? Got him! Lay down arms that. The five mana six five. You better scoop and run away. On the play. Come at me. I mean, what are you going to do for one? I guess that's pretty good. Main deck duress players. Tilts me a little bit every time. Because they should just get run over, demolished, and punished for such things, but not by me. <laughs> it's, it's never me, because I don't play those decks. So they're, I know, like, that's how I know that they came specifically to mess with me, and they're succeeding. That's why it makes me salty. All right, what are we doing? Guess I'll give up the bolt. Do I give up a land? Yeah, we give up a land. We want to put lands in the graveyard for Slogurk, the Overslime, and there it is. So what do we think is going to happen here? Do we want to try to play? I think we want to see if we can attack and play Borb. The problem with that line is if they just kill this in response, we don't get the treasure, and then we could have attacked with Buster and didn't. So it looks like that's not going to matter. Because the opponent does have does not have a response. But I think we still play around it there. I think that's a fine play. Shelly. Shelly, huh? Okay. 
We want to keep this in hand then. Another over slime. So what's this right now? Two damage. Assuming we don't draw a land. And we get another look. Well, no, we don't. We have to pay five for this. I... Mmm. Mmm. Opponent's not going to block though, right? They're a coward. They know about Borborygmos and Fibblethip, right? So they're not going to block. So we just hit them hard. Whoa! Mania. No way they're actually doing that. Hehe. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So the question will be, can we top deck a land? Let's find out. Draw. It's a lot of lands in the deck. We miss. Um, so this will deal two to a creature. We decline. I'm coming for you. I know. Why not use the Boseju? Because I want the two mana for the Buster or to shuffle this in. So they're trying to exile you, huh? That's what they want. Screw up. And shuffle in. No exile. I want to do it again. It's what I came here for. We don't have the red mana, but if they kill the overslime, we get it. They are at 12. Dude, every time you're going to do this? All right. Land drop successfully hit. Imagine not being able to draw lands. Imagine having wheel effects, okay? Multiple duresses. I... Ooh. Mm. Three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Oh, there's the land we needed. And to think we could have killed Shieldred. I guess we hold. And we don't get to draw, but we're so low on life. Makes sense. Okay, that's kind of what we wanted to see. Ah, it's not a land! What the hell, man? Dak, why are you such a freaking tool? All right, um. There it is. One, two, three. For the low price of discarding three cards, you too can kill a Shieldred. Jesus Christ. All right. Nothing but good times. Nothing but blue skies, right? Right? Right. Two Atroxes in the bin. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, I have to win the game, right? So I have to get enough lands to kill the Atroxa or some other way to kill the Atroxa. If the Slogurk dies somehow, we get there. We know they're going to get the Atroxa back. Or they could just get children and win. But they'll probably get Atroxa because they're clowns. 
Clown located. All right, how do we do it? They're at seven. They're at seven. If they block the board where he goes, most and Bibble Thip, the bolt? Does that do anything? Eh? No, 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 no. He's gotta go. We've gotta end it here. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Bringing me so much rage. We still don't have an Odawara, right? We're correct. So much rage. Okay. Okay. Keep her cool. There must be an Odawara we can draw, right? We can draw it right here. God. Mm. I'm so mad. See? Could I just need one more land in the graveyard or one, like, just needed one little source of damage here. That game, man. So many ways we could have won that game. I'm, I'm, ooh. Ugh. This hand could be good. We're on the draw, but man, it's a good curve, right? Bring it. I'm ready. Mono black is shifted into such a control deck these days, but they don't want to see bank buster. Trespasser. Hmm. Hmm. If we play the slow gurk and they kill it now, like with a go for the throat, we just get no land. But I still think we play this and hope for the best. It crews Bank Buster. It keeps the Trespasser from flipping. Yep, just instantly kill everything. That's the mono black way. There was just such a high upside if we got to Elder Dragon War, though. Come on. What you waiting for? Oh. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, you scumbag. So they can make it 5-5 five, five again next turn, too. Unless we blow this up. Not worth it, I don't think, though. I think we just take our, our lumps. Do this before Sheldred comes along. Cards! We have cards here. Let's see if they take the lands. They should take the lands. They saw a slow gurk. <laughs> Best of one. Why? Why? Some of you get so dumb with it. All right. Uh, ooh, Odawara. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But we don't have more blue. That's kind of a problem. I think we just play these out for now. But let's see what we mill. Okay, there's three lands in the graveyard. Shakedown heavy. It's really something. Four, three, four, four, one, one, six, four. This is a two, three. They cast Invoke Despair, Sack, Sack. Uh, if I played this first, it would have an extra counter, and that would be nice. I'm just trying to bring, just trying to bring it out last. Give ourselves to draw another blue land to also have Otawara the same turn we play it. Also, if my tracker survives, which you know, don't know about that. Then we can put a counter on it, and a counter on a Vigilance creature is better than a counter on a non-Vigilance creature. A 
come and get it. No fear. Take your pick. Probably won't kill both. And then one will trade. You want the dragon or you want the 4 3 Vigi? They want the dragon. Everybody likes a good dragon. Oh, that's it? I mean, I like that. So, Borbromos and Fibblethip. But we would much rather get the lands out of the graveyard first. Rawr. How afraid of five damage are you when you're at 21 and I am at nine? I think they thought about blocking that. Just chumping. Let's chill. Wow, cut down the token, you say. You got me. Is this invoke despair time? It is. Thanks for the draw three. No attack. Ooh, another Boseju. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got a bunch of lands to discard. Could offer them trades first, but Boseju can kill the memory, so I think we're just killing the glutton. I got land. I know how to use them. All right. Do, are we worried about six mana? Them using this for mana? I don't think so. I think this is fine. We can wait till they try to do something. This tracker has been giving them a headache this whole game. It's actually done a ton of damage and defended a lot of damage. It's making a name for itself. Corrupt! Wish I could shuffle this back in so much. I wasn't worried. I should have been. I haven't seen a corrupt in this season. Like, not a single one. And here we are. All right, fables. Let's go. Uno, don't use that for mana. You might die. If they corrupt us, we go to one if they have land drop as well. It's <laughs> so close. <laughs> they might be tearing their hair out for this one. Go ahead. A1 life, cast corrupt. See what happens. And we're done here. Shout out to uh, an old, long ago Magic Boomer Times, uh, Magic Duels creator Nemo. If that was you, uh, thanks for the videos you made. In the very, very early, early days of Magic Duels, a young Covert Go Blue really enjoyed them, and it made him want to start, you know, his own YouTube stuff. On the play. Teachings, fable, war. God, it made that sound so intense. War. Fibble Fib. No, you're in my deck. Guarantee the opponent's not playing it. I'm the only one that crazy around here. Fill that graveyard. All right. Fibble Fib is still secret and safe in our pile. 
Blue white. Okay. That looks like a counter for the fable, but let's see about attacking our opponent here. And do we say go? Nope. We go for it. They counter it. Maybe the Elder Dragon War resolves. We just keep throwing sagas at them until they submit. Ah! Aha! Nothing. That's what you've got. Nothing. Love that for us. Although, I'm naturally suspicious. Let's drop the lands. We'll find more. There's a lot of lands in the deck. We'll find more, I said. Again! Why not do something about it? I dare ya. Field of Ruin coming in hot. Should have played the Bank Buster. Alright, so red, blue, green. Hmm. Double blue, double red, I guess. Covert go red? Disgusting. Okay, they're still chilling. Feels like a wandering emperor, doesn't it? Each creature and each opponent. God, that's tough. All right, discard up to two cards. I think it's the wars, to be honest. Whoa! How many lands in my deck? A lot. <laughs> and still we don't hit. But that make disappear is beautiful. Get it. The one without abilities. Did they take that? All right. I play Slogurk. I pass turn. I counter your Sunfall. The end. I mean, opponent, do something. Surely you're not just a lands deck. That's my gimmick. Yep, you go to five. You pick a card, any card. And then you pick another from your top four. I know, I love it. I do it all the time. Yeah, come on, Sunfall. Sunfall me. Sunfall me, baby! Ah, yeah, 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 get wrecked. Gotta do more than that. <laughs> Destroyed! You cannot control me. We go first. We don't play until turn three, and we don't have our best three drop, which is, of course, Fable, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, tap land, tap land. Let's just hang on to our Boseju anyway. Spirited Companion, woof. Cool. Usually a very mid-rangey card. So let's have a mid-range battle with a Briarbridge Trekker. Let's draw some Bank Busters while we're at it. If the opponent plays a Wedding Announcement, the Elder Dragon War can be pretty good. The Titan off the top. We'll see how that goes. Green-white. Oh, never mind. It's an aggro deck. It just didn't have a green source. Okay, well, the Slogurk is pretty good. Because the Boseju is pretty good. We should probably Dragon War this now. Before anything gets bigger. Two points. They will get back the Kami, but they'll have to recast it. The thing I always have to remember against the enchantment deck is you don't want to try too hard to race them. I mean, we'll take our damage where we can get it, but racing them, they just create a giant life linking threat and they beat you in the race almost every time. You've got to play control before you think you should play control, if that makes sense. So like, do we trade for this Kami, for example? I don't know about that. We just drew a Fading Hope, which is pretty good. This Boseju with the Slogurk is pretty good, although it ramps them. I guess we want to fill our graveyard with land anyway. What else do we discard here? All these cards aren't bad, but the Fading Hope is pretty neutral and not the greatest. So I think I'll discard these two 
and hopefully hit more land. Beautiful. So we can go like this. We could play this discard, but I like getting the Slogurk down first. If I attack, will the Kami block? Let's find out. They are at 14. And the next chapter here is Dragon Chapter. I think we let this happen. This frees me up to use the clue, which can help me hit the land drop to get to Titan. Or just pitch him with Borb. Here's the visitor, sure. We really don't want to try to play the Otawara because we already have one. And we would love to have it in circulation with Slogurk to keep getting it back. Restoration of Iganjo. The opponent is starting to play enchantment cards. Looks like that's it for their turn though, so we get to crack the clue. Teachings is a good one. Double teachings is really good. I think we do that instead of Borb. Any lands we hit? Power up Slogurk. And they're going to have to deal with this card. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Strong style. So, I can't really use this. I don't have enough. But I could hit the land drop here and just try to put a ton of pressure on them. Yes! <laughs> what you got? Five life. Let's see what they got. Now they probably have to try to target this to remove it. We bounce it to our hand. We get back several of our lands. Very strong. Oh yeah, and with a handful of land, Borborygmos and Fibblethip can probably kill whatever we need to kill. Okay, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Nope, they're getting back the Kami. Interesting. Kami could have come back if any enchantment hit the graveyard. Summons? Wait, what's this do? Creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on them have base power toughness 4-4 four, four. and are angels. Okay, dude. Okay. So, they have Vigilance? No, just flying. Gotcha. Now they're ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Look at that draw. Look at that draw. Okay. Uh, let's go on the Trampler here. Look at that draw. Did you know that you can, like, channel, kind of cycle this to destroy, up an ar to destroy an artifact or enchantment? You can. You can. It's sort of busto that way. Ah, oh, the opponent scoops. They didn't get to see me uh, blow up their Sigarda summons. Well, that's the game. Opponent goes first. We have a pretty good curve on the draw, but it doesn't interact much, so we'll see if it holds up. Blue green bank buster. Okay, I feel like I have time to do cool things. This is awesome. Here's my teachings. We got a land in the graveyard. Itali's in the graveyard, but this isn't a reanimator deck, so don't get too excited. The opponent might be. Okay, they miss a land drop. Do we just win then? Is that how this works? Here's an attack. Feels like Fable. It, opponent, you're gonna need your land. I run like 29. Don't you understand the value of your land? Now they do. Now they do. 29 land, guys. You might too curve out. Or just play mono red. Opponent goes first. Keeps. Pack leader. Okay. Well, that's kind of scurry. Another gorge probably isn't great. Okay, their curve is amazing. The... Uh, Elder Dragon War is going to be way too late. Everything about this hand is going to be way too slow on the draw. We didn't even mill any lands. Yep, I, I think we're taking the L here. We'll give it a shot. But I, I, I see no way. All right, they got the Brawler. They're doing the plus one, plus one counter thing. Let's hang on to our little spirit friend so we get a plus one, plus one counter on something. 
Let's drop the Slogurt because we just need to play anything we can and try to stymie their ground offensive and see where this goes. So, uh, whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another permanent, if it's the first time, you put a plus one plus one counter on the Brawler and they have Enduring Bonkin, which can put a counter somewhere. Wait a minute. Did they get two triggers there? If one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another permanent, if it's the first time counters have been put on that permanent, put a counter on it. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, this? Is it like this? I can't believe there's no lands in the graveyard either. Kind of heartbreaking. Hmm. Two damage kills this, kills this. So we need to take something off the board, and I think it has to be you. But they might have a trick. All right. I know. Get nothing back after a teachings is really cringe. Okay, we draw an un unusable card. So now we have to just... Like, do we actually want to wrath this? Not really, right? Not really. So I guess I need a dragon? Yeah, I need a dragon. We don't want to discard these either because it makes the board where we got most in Bibblethip do what it needs to do. So it's just about bodies on the board, guys. Please no more! A John Johns. All part of the great machine that is yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pump this to the moon. It's just plus one plus one counters on things. It's it's their jam. It's just what they love. <laughs> Killing the beast caller is really frustrating because they can just put the counter somewhere else. So I need to draw like a fading hope for the beast caller. The weakness of their flesh. Hmm. How to do it at eight life. Borberigmos Fibblethip comes down, kills Beast Caller. They just move this over here. I was really hoping to get to kill the Pack Leader. So if we want, we could double chump and save the Dragon. This attacks and makes a spirit, but they have Vigilance. So it attacks to its doom. That's not good. I feel like I need to kill the Pack Leader top deck, maybe a Fading Hope, and we might kill the Ajani. Actually, the flyer kills the Ajani if I'm willing to take a lot of damage here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just chump. Just a chump. Ouch. I mean, ouch, but here we are. Draw another one. Well, let's see what we get. Not a land. No! All right. Uh, to target creature, huh? Not a land. Gotta do it. Think we're chumping. The enemies of perfection in this battle. Opponent thinks hard, then swings. All right. Uh, trade here, chump here. Okay, I don't think they have anything though. All right, we draw the Elder Dragon War. How do we do? Banky? Another dragon? Kick it. Land, swing, no swing. Okay, love to see that. Borba flip. Uh, decline. Now we can draw or shuffle back in. Is it time to attack? It's an eight point attack in the air. And we have a, we have a Titan coming down next turn. This is conservative as hell. No attacks. They might have some way to give this a plus and a trample that I'm not thinking of, and I just need to be able to gang up on it. Because if I get to drop this Titan, we'll be in such a good spot. There we go. There we go. I guess I could see what we draw. Let's 
Let's go like this. Just being safe. Oh, yeah. We did that. Decline. Boing. With the Wara. Hit. Now we got it. You can feel it. Wow, I thought I was dead. I think they flooded out in what was probably a brutal way from their side, but it did make it very suspenseful from our side. And uh, yep, no more beastie. And draw, could have also killed it with the trigger. And damage. Whew. Thought they got me. Thought they had me there for sure. We go first. Two lands. We should be able to get over that, right? We've got how many lands in our deck? This is going to be fine. I know I won't get mana screwed with 29 lands in my deck. I know my two lander, thanks algorithm, won't be punished. Just go ahead and get the teachings down on curve. Worry about flame bless bolt later because there might be a Thalia. Two lands in the graveyard. Big draw step coming up. Actually... Maybe we Fading Hope on upkeep to be sure. Green-white, again. Counters again, interesting. I, why have I played this deck twice in a row? Do I scry here? You know what, I've gotta make this appear. It might be the best time to play it, never punished. Aha, I put counters on things too. Maybe that's why the algorithm thinks we're best buddies. I'm going to do this now. If I do it now, there's a good chance that the opponent, uh, I mean, they might have protection spells, right? We should definitely expect a protection spell of some kind. I'll be the beat down, thank you. Siege a veteran. I think we bounce it, scry for a land, and then counter it. Rude, I know. Okay, good bottom. Is the thing I say to all my friends. Still no land, but a really good draw. Missing land drops, but just taking over the game with teachings of Kirin and some cheap interaction. Is there a creature down there? No. Thinking of ways to get a spirit made with this. The taps, the manual taps. Clay champion. Okay, that, that can get countered. That one puts a lot of plus one, plus one counters on things. And now there's something in the graveyard. But I don't think I want to kill the initiate. I want to save the bolt for the veteran. So I might not, like the opponent could have attacked there. They didn't, interesting. Yeah, they want to hold this back. All right, get him. I guess I could have had a plus one, plus one counter on this, so that's a mistake. But I really wanted to get my Fable going. So yeah, when it attacks, exile a creature from a graveyard for a spirit, exile a non-creature for a counter. So yeah, I could have had a counter on this. Not cool. Not cool, CGB. People will turn you off for your misplays. The Ozolith. Are you gonna use that to put counters on this initiate right now? No, they're gonna play the veteran. Veteran's gonna pump the initiate. Does the initiate want a little attack time? Wanna wanna get a little frisky? No? That's not a good draw. Alright, Elder Dragon War is looking pretty bad in this matchup. No land! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Brutal! Alright. Really want to bolt. Really want to kill the Ozolith, too. One land would have let us do both. Not to be. They can only block one or the other once I bolt the Siege Veteran. They've got to decide what to kill. So let's make some value. Goodbye. And make them choose. 
does make you choose I guess I could have attacked with this too if I valued the damage all right they value the treasure maker all right here's slog slogurk go ahead remove it let me have my lands 17 cards five lands doesn't seem like an average distribution to me you keep touching the Azalith. It's like, yeah, you can, if you want to, you can put some counters here. You can also remove counters to kill stuff, which makes the hopeful initiate a nice little machine gun. It does cost a lot of mana, though. And there are more problems on the board than enchantments and artifacts, but they're going for it. There's some counters. You want, you want some? You want some? No? Pass? Okay. I honestly thought I was going to get another trigger to dig with Fable because there's no way I missed the last time, but apparently I did. <laughs> All right, how's the attacks? Pretty bad. But this can make another spirit, I guess. Let's just go. Let's just make them deal. No way to get our Atali back, so no loss here. Yeah, missing two points of damage earlier in the game might actually come back to cost me if I stay mana screwed. I did not foresee a game to go like this. I would say two pretty big mistakes in this game. We got a block. They take down Slogurk, which means I get the two other lands I've seen. I guess I'll hold up the discarding of this until they are trying to use this. Because if they use mana using this again, I think I'm okay. I, I suspect they might have another that they try to cycle right here too. Let's see what they do on end step. Maybe we can get them to cycle a Nozolith. No, they're gonna blow up the uh, reflection. It's a good move. All right, in that case, we'll just do this now before they get the opportunity to use the Ozolith again. Shuffle back in, draw a card. And we'll see if they have another one. Of course, of course. And another veteran, that's really good. They probably just drew this, but we'll see. They could definitely turn the tide on this if we don't hit our lands. I think we take our blocks while we can as we transition into the uh, defending deck. We're no longer the beatdown. All right, and creatures. There is a creature. And what's this give? Plus one, plus one counter if it's a non-creature. Okay. Bouncing the initiate seems pretty good when it has all those counters on it. That cost me four, though. I don't think I can afford that. I think it's got to be these two. I don't think they want to trade this veteran at all. Ah, they're taking it. They can blow up this Bankbuster or this Fable, so let's just try to overwhelm their little initiate friend. Because five life is not very much. There's the Johnny. Not a great defender, but pretty. I mean, it, it's going to make these creatures huge. The question is going to be, can I sneak the damage through for lethal? Because now they can't activate the initiate to get rid of the Kirin. They need another creature and they might not be able to pull it off. Vigilance is very good, though. I think we take this, try to end the game next turn. Make this appear, probably won't do it. Tapped land, Orberigmos. All right, so bounce one of these. Attack all. Put a plus one, plus one counter here, should be game. 
Bounce the one that's more expensive. They got a protection. No! Should have kept the make disappear. I didn't think they had it based on last turn. I really didn't think they had it. I think that's going to cost me the game. Right there. Yep, duelist. Now they've got three blockers. Crucial play. Perfect timing. We have allies everywhere. These don't have vigilance now. Maybe they get greedy and attack. And maybe we draw exactly what we need. Uh, one of them's coming. We do have to block. Yeah, I should have won this game. Uh, I made two big misplays early, and I made a misplay late. I could have held the make disappear. I didn't think they had it. There was, like, no stick. They played in a way that made me believe they didn't have it, but they did. They definitely did. And if you're thinking I was a mana short for that play, I could have waited to go for the Otawara after the Goblin attacked. Could have had a treasure to support the make disappear. So they, they earned it. I definitely threw it. But we're trying. That is not a land. <laughs> ah! Okay. I guess we discard it anyway. Deal two points. My God, the, our draw has been absurdly bad, though. Just saying. Just saying. So they can blow up the bank buster. They're going to absence. Oh, that's not the play. Oh, that ain't it. Let's see if we can take advantage. All right. So creature in the graveyard. To make the 1-1. One, one. They're also at 5. If we attack with all this, they have to block here, block here. Plus 1, plus 1 counter. They might die. So they can go to one regardless though, right? They have to block here and then they block the thing I put the counter on. And then we're still at three and they counter attack. They're gonna lose this, but they're going to gain a one one. I have to survive the counter attack, which I can't really do. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I do get a one one from the teachings. So putting a counter on something here, it determines where they block, but it doesn't win the game because they just block it and go to one. And that's what they're going to do anyway. So here we do need the spirit. Yep, got a blockbuster. Got to block something. They'll also get a soldier because of the veteran. They go to one. Once again, they don't have the Ajani Vigilance mode, though. So if they go all in on an attack, it's got to get there. But if they have a removal spell, they get through. I guess they can hopeful the reflection, can't they? And then they have to put counters on the 1-1. One, one. So they have to use ref hopeful on the reflection. They have to put counters on the 1-1, one, one, and they'll win. I think they see it. Yeah, everything mattered, and I screwed up three times. I deserve this. It was a good game, though. Is there a never should have had it? Yeah. You got me. I stupid. I'll get you next time. I won't make that mistake again. Or the other one. Or the other one. A quick post-game wrap for Fibble Thip and Borber Igmos. Borber Thip, Fibble Borb, whatever you want to call it. This deck is fun. It actually has very interesting matchups in the meta, and it seems to, I don't know if that counters deck is going around, but I didn't really see it till today. Then I played it twice in a row, and it makes me think maybe like playing 
non-black cards in your deck makes you play against other decks like maybe the matchmaker is trying to shelter us from the oppressive meta and you don't play mono red and you don't play mono black and you don't play rakdos we're, we're gonna play the plus one plus one counter decks now i could be down for that it's probably just a wave those of you who believe in like the matchmaker mega fixing you're not totally wrong but you also believe in it a bit too much a bit too much all right uh, what would I change about the deck? Honestly, nothing. I like it this way. I like the kind of variety in the top end, but don't go crafting a Titan, an Itali, or a Kogla and Yodaro just because I have one of them in this deck. Just play one of the other ones. The top end, very much fluctuating. I do love the trackers. They're not necessary for the deck, but I love them as something that Fable can copy because if you look around the deck, Fable doesn't copy too many things here. So having some trackers just in there as a little filler works really well. I also don't want to give up on the fading hopes or the make disappears. Some matchups you need to counter invoke despair. Some matchups you need to bounce just some giant thing the opponent got down really cheap and have some tempo. I know we already have a lot of bounce in the deck from Odawara, but we're not a legends deck. So you're not usually channeling this for one or two mana. It usually costs two, three, four mana to channel Otawara Soaring City. So we need a cheaper alternative as well. Fading Hope does the job. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Not just another Bankbuster pile. A lot of fun going on with this deck. So try it out. Thank you for for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. You're cool.